what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Here's a story about a guy who traveled to Houston to assist victims of Hurricane Harvey on his own dime, using his own resources. And he's accosted by a police officer who tells him, thanks, but no thanks. Basically tells him to get lost, handles the dude very greasy. It's very rude. And this further illustrates and drives home the point as to why so many people has disdain for cops. Before I go any further, let me just say thank you to the man who was out there on that boat rescuing people, risking his own life, using his own resources, his own time, not asking for anything in return. Thank you. Salute. Now to this sucker, this clown, this lame, who basically just ran interference. It just seemed like to me that he was on some hating shit. Like, you know what? I'm hating because I ain't out here saving nobody and I don't want you out here doing, doing it. I don't need you out here trying to save nobody. Who do you think you are? This dude should be ashamed of himself. A lowdown. I mean, if his kids, if his kids see the video, they should like disown his ass. Like, ugh, yuck. What kind of dad are you? You're a clown. The dude was just out being a human being. Just being a human being just out there trying to save people. And this sucker. Oh, get down here. Dude was like, why? I mean, I thought as an American, you could still question the police. Because I said so. Because I said so. Like he's somebody damn daddy. Screaming at the man. Crazy. So, after this story broke, I did a little investigating. And I found out the reason why dude was so upset, why the cop was so upset. Turns out that he was mad because the donut shop had flooded. <laughs> had to put that one in there. But yeah, man, that's crazy. This guy is part of the New World Order. He's part of the New World Order of cops who are disrespectful, who are arrogant, who are bullies, who have a us against them mentality. This type of mentality is not conducive to a productive society. At some point it's going to collapse. Now, you have to wonder why are they allowing these cops to behave the way that they do with impunity. Why? It don't even make sense. And But when you think about it, it makes sense for the elite who sit so high up on their mountain that, man, they don't even see everybody else as equals. So they don't care what happens down here. They don't care about all the chaos happens down here. It's how they maintain control from the top. So they use these cops as their underlings to go out as their little minions and go out and cause chaos and wreak havoc on the public. Not knowing that they're really putting their lives and their fellow officers' lives in danger because everybody is not going to accept that behavior. Everybody is not going to rock with that disrespect. Everybody is not going to allow you to kill their relatives and get away, no matter what the law say. So this is going to create an element that they're not, they're not signing up for. 
You remember how gung-ho Americans were to kick some Iraqi ass when the Twin Towers went down? Oh, boy, they were ready. They thought it was going to be a repeat of Desert Storm. Remember when America went in and, like, within 24 hours, they had captured, had seized the, the, uh, the capital of Baghdad? It was raising the American flag everywhere. We salute, we got it, we won, we kicked some Iraqi ass. Had Iraqis fleeing overnight. It's just, the war was won in 24 hours. But the second time around, it's like the Iraqis remembered what happened and they said it won't happen again that way. Y'all may have the military might, y'all may have more bombs than us, more planes than us, more citizens than us, more allies than us. But what y'all don't have is our resilience and you don't have our ideologies. We have an ideology that you can't kill. You can't kill an ideology. You can kill a person, but you can't kill an ideology. So if you have a situation where people are being trained, people are being learned from day one, indoctrinated to think a certain way and believe, have a certain set of beliefs, then it becomes who they are, their condition. It's like Pavlov's law. You become who you are conditioned to be. So it doesn't matter what anybody do to you or anybody say, this is your set of beliefs. These are your convictions. So while you can kill, go out and kill 1,000 people and let the whole world see it, it is not going to do anything to instill fear in me because I've been indoctrinated to be a certain kind of way. I'm programmed. I'm conditioned. So it doesn't matter what you do to them. I'm still going to do, I'm going to still exhibit the exact same behavior that they did. And I'm not going to stop. That's ideology versus people. You can't kill an ideology. <laughs> and America figured that out a little bit too late. They figured it out a little bit too late and lost a whole lot of innocent lives. In fact, we wasn't even supposed to be in Iraq in the first place. But back on topic with this dude. This dude, this cop, he one of the type of dudes that was bullied in high school. You know it. He was bullied in elementary. And now he's trying to do some bullying of his own. And let me just clarify that. He either was the one being bullied or, and he trying to get some get back, or he was a bully all along. And he just taking his bully ways into law enforcement. That's how it works. People that bully in school are, are people that are gonna bully in their career fields. That's just how it go. See, the department hates it when you save lives. They hate it when, during a disaster, when private citizens go out and save lives because it makes them look like they're not doing their job. See, that's what it was. That's all it was. Pure jealousy. And then, of course, you have people that believe that this is part of the whole depopulation movement. Hey, let them die. That's how we eat. That's how we maintain control. The way I see it, man, if you're not helping, you're hurting. And I couldn't see any signs of that cop actually helping. He seemed like a cancer. He seemed like the type that was sitting around just getting a free check, sitting on his ass, getting a free check, and bossing people around that were actually out there trying to help people. This dude, he's, he, he's sad. He's a sad case. Man, I guess that old adage is true. No good deed goes unpunished. No more talk. What, what the natives talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.